Well, hello, my YouTube friends. You know what? Sometimes I really wish I had some epic music uh, to go uh, with my ramblings like that when I talk about a knife. Because when you have an epic knife like that in your hands, uh, like I said, you wish that you have some epic whatever to go with. Uh, and uh, music can be epic uh, when my uh, rumblings most definitely are not, especially in English, uh, that unfortunately I don't master enough to describe uh, the, 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 the blowing, uh, the, the, the craziness, the awesomeness of the knife I have currently in hands. This, my friend, is a custom uh, bruiser made by Mr. Oh, should I say Master Neil Blackwood. Uh, to tell you the truth, and uh, to be honest with you, this is a retake video. Not really a retake, but I made a video first about this knife and comparing this knife with the Benchmade uh, skirmish that I recently scored because they are, you know, it's the same bit blast, same round holes like that with the, the anno, the perfect anno inside. But I thought really that wouldn't that this video didn't do the justice that this knife uh, deserved. It was a nice video actually. Compare, I would probably I don't know. Probably I will buy. I will uh, post both. Uh, but I wanted first uh, this knife to have its own uh, presentation, its own video, because this, my friend, is a masterpiece. That's what it is. When you have a knife in hands from a master as Mr. Blackwood, you can tell. You can tell the hard work that's there. You can tell the expertise, the experience of the knife maker. Uh, yeah, you can tell that he spent hours and hours, days, months, years to master this uh, craft and to come with this beautiful finish. So that, my friend, is a bruiser. It's a kind of uh, new, I would say uh, model from his brand and usually he makes you know the skirmish or the small uh, pig squeak uh, I just love them I have the pig squeak you know from Boker and I have also the Benchmade skirmish and I have uh, yeah whatever it does I'm trying to have and I really wanted to have a custom from uh, Neil Blackwood and man, man this is my first and most definitely hopefully not my last I will uh, search hard to find another one, probably a skirmish. Uh, my friend David has a skirmish, and I saw, uh, and I will probably make a video with him with his skirmish because the, the result is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is my friend, the Bruiser, and what an epic knife! Look at this blade, the satin finish, uh, which is hand rubbed for sure, is just perfect. That's perfect. It is very delicate for me to see this black wood well inserted like that uh, uh, in the satin finish. It doesn't spoil actually uh, the satin. Even more, I think that it enhanced the beauty of this satin finish. I just love that the black wood is just engraved inside and, like I said, very delicately in, uh, engraved into the satin. Look at that. This is. Usually I hate, you know, logos, but look at that. This is, yeah, this is very delicate. That's the, the right word for me. Uh, then you have the this blade shape that I just, just love. That's a modified tanto. And for those of you guys who know me, that's probably my best shape ever. And I don't like the tanto on the first edge to be, you know, straight, as it's usual for a tanto. I like the curve on the first edge and the recurve on the second edge. Uh, so this, my friend, probably is my favorite blade shape, along with what uh, Frank Fisher also did, and that is uh, the recurve on the first and the second edge. Uh, this blade shape is absolutely awesome also. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, it looks like the, what uh, the die wear also does, uh, but most definitely this uh, has a better finish. You know, I own both, uh, and uh, as much as I love my uh, Solo V4, uh, this is a much, much better finish. Uh, yeah, much better finish, most definitely. Uh, and also it cuts like hell, you know, that there's a deep hollow grind here. And I cut, you know, all my, um, all my papers today. I, I haven't tried 
you, uh, actually to use this knife, it was so beautiful that, that I just wanted you know, to fondle it. Uh, but it cuts crazy, you know, very, very nice edge, very nice geometry here. Like I said, it's a deep hollow grind. And at the very end, uh, it's very thin. Uh, and that's very uh, a functional knife for that matter. Now look at this handle. Man, does the anodization is just great. He went for a very nice bead blast. Then he made an anno, and uh, to tell you the truth, I, I don't know uh, how he came with this color, which is overall a, a greenish color with those reflections of blue when you're under the light. Uh, that's, you know, the, the best way to, to, to enjoy this knife because you have all those blue reflections of the very best effect. Then the pivot here, look, look at that. Uh, uh, he went for a bronze, but here also you have some reflections of blue. Here also on the stop pin, which is a huge stop pin, my friend. This is just, let me see, let me show you that. The stop pin is one of the biggest that I've ever experienced. I don't know that I have another knife with a stop pin that big, you know, just crazy. Look at, <laughs> it's just a crazy stop pin. I love that. And believe me, my friend, it makes for a very scary, I would say, uh, sturdy uh, knife. Uh, the, the, the log bar uh, has a perfect engagement, I would say 20%, just awesome. And the, the action is buttery smooth. And this, my friend, set the standards of what I like on a knife. Look at that. You have a huge blade and still, just with a small action like that, the blade flies open with a flipper. You know that uh, probably, uh, if you follow my channel, flippers are the I mean, it's the way of opening that I like the, 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 the more. But when it's like that, nice flipping action, you don't feel that you break the detent, you see? So it's not as smooth as a Thorburn, for example, or a, or a Van Heerden, because you have to break a little bit the detent, but it's not as um, as difficult to break the detent as some ZTs, for example, the 777 or, uh, or others. This, you just have a smooth, low motion like that, and you don't even hear uh, the detent breaking. Then you have the smoothness, perfect smoothness of the knife, you know, and try to hear that. Let me see if I can catch here. It will, you know, it will be, you know, boom, you see, and you heard, and now you can see that the blade, you can put all the strength in the world, and that blade will sit uh, here and will stay in its place. And that's what I love, because I love I don't want a knife to open accidentally uh, in my pocket. Look at this great centering. Blade centering is dead spot on. So you see, that's the best combo that I like on a, on a flipper. Smoothness like that, and then the detent. Boom! That won't go anywhere, anywhere, my friend. Uh, then let's continue with the handle. Look at that. The bronzing, all the hardware here. What can I say about this backspacer? Just crazy awesome. Look at that. The, the anode is perfect. It makes for a very secure grip in the hand. You have jimping everywhere. Here on the ramp, small ramp. Here on the lock uh, bar. Here for the reverse grip. Uh, you have, or either here you have also the, the, the backspacer with the nice retention here. Uh, and it stops here by the, the uh, the glass breaker. So the finish is great, but you know what? It goes even further. Look at that. Even inside, let me see if I try to catch some light here for you to appreciate that. Let me see. Okay. You see, inside he went for the same anodization of the back spacer. And look at that. The cut here, it's a deep blue anodization. Look at that. Isn't that poetry, my friend? Isn't that poetry? I mean, it's mesmerizing. That's the word. Uh, uh, and I stick with this word. That's mesmerizing. Even inside, nothing is left, you know, uh, to uh, to discussion. I mean, everything is well thought. Uh, you 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 see that um, Neil Blackwood didn't, didn't want to have uh, any flaws on this knife. Look at the meaning of those holes. It's perfect alignment here. All the holes are, you know, well aligned here. You have just the cut. Look at this cut. <laughs> You have three uh, three cuts on one. Uh, it's just beautiful, and also yeah, the pattern here on the love bar. 
it, the, 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 what can I say? The, the only small flaw that I would address is this um, this hole, uh, the detailed hole. Uh, really, uh, you could hide that, my friend. Uh, but a lot of knife makers that I love do that for whatever reason. Michael Williamson, for example, you see all this, uh, uh, all his uh, detailed holes like that. Even Alan Elishowitz, uh, you see uh, at least half of the detailed hole. Why? I don't really uh, fathom why would they leave uh, a hole like that on the blade, but I don't care, uh, it's nothing really. So, uh, I would probably stop here, or no, I didn't talk about the clip. The clip has really, an, look at that, how sturdy it is, and see, still, you see, it's, it has a really nice, um, look at that, when you wear it in a pocket, that goes really, it wears perfectly well. You see it inserts it perfectly well and uh, it wears nicely in the pocket so you can have it like that very easily. And again, I wanted to finish my movie with this smoothness that comes from another world. Everything in this knife screams quality and perfection. So my friend, if ever you have the chance to pick a knife from Mr. Neil Blackwood, you do that. Uh, that's my most definite uh, advice and I will try to get another one from him because really I am stoked with this knife and this one will follow me in my grave. I said that to my son, I have my legacy for him and he will own probably a lot of my knives but this one I want to keep it in my grave, definitely, probably my favorite knife as of now. My friends, I'll catch you for another video very soon, bye bye.